Alright, hello fun and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the KR7 mod, which is being made by form user Nezd. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game is a lovely little selection of Soviet-inspired rocket parts that are meant to sort of expand upon the Making History DLC. And these are some pretty fun, awesome new parts to play with. So let's uh, jump into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we do get here. Now we're actually going to grab the Mark II command pod today as uh, the parts in question in this pack actually fit quite nicely with this radius of a rocket part rather than the Mark I or the Mark I-3. And we'll head down to the fuel tanks category once we turn on our mod filter there to have a look at the first of our beautiful parts and that is the FLTX 3300 fuel tank. A pretty decent sized one here, holding 1,485 liquid fuel, as well as 1,815 oxidizer. It has quite a number of cool texture variants. We'll have a look here in a second. And as you can see, this is a really cool fuel tank. I love the look of this. It's so nice and refreshing having a fuel tank that's not just a solid cylinder all the way down. It has this cool tapered look to it, and despite it being meant to be used in this direction, depending on how you're building your ship, you could quite easily flip it the other way and it'll still work. I mean, it's got attachment points on both ends, but overall it is a cool part, and the fuel tank itself has a lot of nice little details to it, which I really do enjoy. And as for those variants, we get six different texture variants, which are quite cool. We've got the white type one, the gray and orange type one, the black and white type 1. Then we have the white type 2, which gets rid of the flag, but keeps the rest of that sort of texturing going. And I believe, if I switch back, yeah, it does actually change uh, some of where the parts are on the model. And if you take a look at like this part here in this main spine bit, when we switch over to the Type 2, they kind of move around. But still quite fun. We then have the Type 2 of the uh, gray and orange, and then also of the black and white. So all in all, some uh, fun uh, textures uh, to mess with do make it look uh, very good. Now let's check uh, this thing off and head down to the engines category where we have uh, two of our four parts for this mod pack. And we have here the RK0109 liquid fuel engine, which has a maximum thrust of 80 kilonewtons in a vacuum with an ISP of 324 and does have some gimbling with a vectoring range of one degree. And if we pop it on here, it is a pretty fun looking engine. I actually really do love the design of this thing. Just look at all the detail on that. It is rather spectacular. And there's not good detail there, but also if we flip it around, you can see we've got like piping and circuitry all along the uh, top, which is quite cool. And the shroud for this is beautiful. I just love the piping supports here. It is a very cool. And between that and just Look at the detail of the piping in that image. It's just so well put together. I really, really do like it. Now, it does look a little weird if you do disable the shroud, but most engines do, frankly, when you do that. And who wouldn't want this beautiful piping? And again, we have a number of uh, fun texture variants with the white, gray, orange, the gray, orange, orange, gray, and finally, a, a dark texture variant, all of which are quite fun to play with. Now then, after that lovely engine, we have 
the RK0124 liquid fuel engine. Now, this one actually has a built-in alternator on it, producing three electric charge per second. Its mass thrust, uh, thrust in a vacuum is a 270 kilonewtons, with an ISP in vacuum of a 359 using liquid fuel and oxidizer, and has a gimbling of 2.5 degrees. And if we pop this one on to our command pod, here again it's just a gorgeous engine with some really nice details we again do have the cool piping up on the top and if we pop it there it again has the very cool piping shroud there as well as uh, the same uh, various uh, texture options, which is uh, quite cool. They are very, very nicely made. You gotta love them. And all in all, it's just kind of a cool engine. Now, I gotta admit, I was a little surprised when I saw this one because I figured with how much taller it is than the uh, other one down here that it might have its own small supply of liquid fuel and oxidizer, but it does not. I guess that's... Uh, the alternator up there, I guess, is where that takes up the rest of the room. And I actually don't think I did mention on the RK0109, that one is also liquid fuel and oxidizer. But both fun, good looking engines with a lot of great detail. And finally, the last of our four parts is down here in aerodynamics, where we have the R7 wing. Now it is a wing with a relative wing area of 0.12, a max deflection of 20 degrees, and an actuator speed of 60 degrees per second. And if we pop it on here, it's a, you know just a nice little control surface for you to use. It's uh, it does come in a couple of different texture variants, only four this time, rather than the six that we have on the others, where we either have the white, gray orange or a black color scheme there but still they look quite good as you can see here match it very nicely with the rest of the parts and yeah it's just a fun little control surface to add to your collection and yeah uh, that is it for all the parts in this we don't have anything in any other category here and it's uh, it's a small mod but a nice little one i love the variety here for both the engines but i especially Love this fuel tank. Like I said, it's just nice having a non-completely cylindrical fuel tank in this game. You gotta love it. Now let's actually open up a craft that I was working with earlier to uh, take a look at these engines in use, but also to talk about another thing here real quick uh, regarding those textures. Now they are, again, wonderful textures, but if we head up here, this fuel tank, the FLTX uh, 44, or 440 fuel tank, normal stock fuel tank there, uh, you can see that its gray is ever so slightly the, different than the gray on the RK0109 liquid fuel engine, and that's because the textures here were meant to be compatible with the restock mod. Uh, this is kind of intended to be used alongside that, but as you can see here, I'm not using restock, and they're pretty dark darn close. So for me, doesn't really make too much of a difference. Uh, they still look good, and when you're going to be flying your rocket mainly from, like, out here, you'll probably never notice. But yes, they uh, the textures there are meant to be used with a restock. But yeah, they still look pretty darn good and pretty darn close to regular stock. So let's actually go and uh, launch this one and see how it does. Now, of course, the engine on the very bottom main stage of the rocket is a normal stock engine. Uh, the two tanks up top here are, of course, stock tanks. Uh, but yes, we'll just launch and ditch this bottom stage because, frankly, this one tiny little engine I put on here, <laughs> it, it doesn't take this tiny little rocket off. So uh, let's just go ahead and throttle it up just for the heck of it and... Yeah, it's not going to do a thing, but let's uh, decouple and go to our first actual engine from this mod, the RK0124, and it's a pretty spectacular little thing. I also just realized I forgot to put a parachute on this. Oh, well, my Kerbals never survived these tests anyways, but yes, a, a fun a little uh, rocket engine there. I do love uh, the four different... Uh, Ports. I, for some reason, I always blank on the proper word for those in these videos. 
But yes, a, a nice engine. There it goes, losing all of its fuel. So let's release and head on up to the uh, RK0109 fuel engine here. Love the particle effects on that. A very good looking. Some stuff exploded, but yeah, when doesn't it with my tests? And yeah, they are just fun little additions. Great for expanding on the Making History DLC and are just some nice quality parts. So yeah, if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. Uh, but that, my friends, is really going to be it for this episode today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the uh, next episode when uh, hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one!